issue of cheap, substandard imports of building materials is becoming more common and is a serious challenge to the New Zealand construction industry. Brands's capability in a technique known as FTIR spectroscopy is one way in which we can verify the authenticity of a wide range of building materials or investigate potential product substitutions. When infrared radiation from a laser beam hits a material, the molecules in the material begin to move and vibrate in a very characteristic way that can be used to identify them. This is the basis of technology based on FTIR spectroscopy. We can think of the information we get from FTIR spectroscopy as a molecular fingerprint. The fingerprints we get as outputs from FTIR experiments are called spectra and we can use these spectra to identify unknown materials. Let's take an example of how we can use this technology in a practical situation. Let's say a company which manufactures this black polymer has been receiving complaints that the product has been failing soon after installation. The manufacturer becomes suspicious that the failures may be product substitutes. Using FTIR, we can tell immediately whether this is the case. I'll demonstrate how we can do this. So here we have two black polymers which look virtually identical. This product was specified during the build, whereas this product was the product that was actually installed. The installed product failed much earlier than anticipated, which led the manufacturer to be concerned that a product substitution had occurred. So we can look at both of these and actually find out chemically whether they are the same or not. So let's see how we go about carrying out FTIR spectroscopy on these products. First product, sample one. Place the sample on the interface and then we can carry out the sampling. And there is our spectrum for the first product. Second sample. Placing it on the sample interface and collecting our spectrum. We can compare the two spectra to determine whether they're the same or not. We overlay these two. We can see that the blue line from sample one is completely different to the lines representing sample two, the red lines, which tells us that their chemical compositions are completely different and they're two completely different products. So the manufacturer who was concerned about product substitution was actually correct. It was not the product that he had specified. We also have the capability to take the FTIR out of the lab and onto site with its portable capability. The range of materials that we can analyse is very wide, from timbers to polymers to other types of building materials such as building wraps, membranes, sealants and adhesives. From this work, brands will create sample libraries which will prove to be a very valuable future reference source for a wide variety of building materials. For more on this and how FTIR is being used to test the long-term durability of polyurethane-based structural adhesives, see Build Issue 162.